Hi, my name is Katie Layard, and I am a proud attendee of the very first TEDx Houston conference. I've been a longtime TED.com fan, had long-time dreams of attending, maybe speaking one day, and the fact that we have these more regionally focused events around the TED inspirational spirit uh, really was a highlight of my year, a highlight of 2010. My name is Jonty Bowles, and I had the good fortune to attend the inaugural TEDx Houston. I'm a big fan of TED. Um, even my ringtone on my phone is the team, uh, TED theme songs. So I had high expectations, and this day absolutely exceeded them. Uh, my name is Eloy Zuniga Jr. Dr. Engelman was definitely my favorite speaker. I loved his speech about uh, the way we have a dichotomy whenever we think about certain things, especially religion, and how never uh, people just don't stop to consider what's in between, and the fact that there may be an answer in there. Uh, and you use a wonderful analogy with the whole uh, space and being able to look at an empty spot, and then when they, you know, examined it further, they found all kinds of information inside of that area. My name is Brandy. My favorite speaker at Ted Houston was probably Dr. Eagleman, who was the final speaker. He actually got a standing ovation, had to come back out on stage because he was that awesome. I think definitely one of my favorite speakers, the like favorite presenting moments, um, was twofold. Uh, first of all, the amazing Gracie Kavanaugh talking about Recipes for Success, which is a nonprofit that I hold very dear to my heart. Um, and secondly, an amazing guy named Dan Phillips with the Phoenix Commotion, who is this genius master builder who manages to make these amazing creations for people in need, you know, people that can't afford any sort of housing, let alone the cookie cutter houses, um, out of the most amazing materials possible. The beginning opening remarks and by Dr. Brene Brown were just amazing. She was a perfect bookend to kick things off to talk about authenticity, which was um, being true to yourself and a, bit, a little bit vulnerable. So it set the stage to having to be open to a lot of those things we were going to hear the rest of the day. The best moment was probably the first speaker, Dr. Brene Brown, when she was talking about how at the end of her study she didn't quite approve of what she found and she had a slight breakdown, which she also called a breakthrough, and it was kind of one of those moments where you realize those two things can actually be very similar. I'm going to sound like a fanboy for him, but uh, I really liked uh, his presentation, and my favorite moment was actually when he said the three, I've got like a cheat sheet, but my favorite uh, thing that he said was the greatest, thing, the most powerful three words that science has ever given man was, uh, I don't know. Probably I was most excited to see Gracie Kavnar and Monica Pope talk about the changes and things in, in nutrition and how it's, um, that sustainability and level of simple living is going to be important for our coming demographics, which was talked about as well. Um, I was most unexpectedly surprised to for the entertainment portion of TED to see the dancers and the symphony just and integrated so well with all of the things that were filling our heads in other areas. It was a correlation I would have never expected. I walked out of there obviously inspired like everybody else with my brain about to implode within the ideas. I'm inspired to just kind of change how I view things as a whole, change how I... One of the concepts was do with what you have rather than wasting things and just basically how I live my life at home, how I work. Uh, if it did inspire me to do anything, it would be to actually write more uh, because a lot of the things that they said I agreed with wholeheartedly and I just wish uh, that I had written some of this stuff down so that I could, you know, kind of start presenting it to other people as well. The thing I'm, I'm coming away the most with is storytelling, authenticity, and the idea of sustainable that we're going to have to kind of make newer choices about how we're treating ourselves, um, our city, and um, each other in this world that we're going to kind of maintain. And I think what really made a difference to me was so much of my day-to-day -day world is based around things that aren't very tangible, maybe things that are on the web, things that impact people, but that aren't always these things that you can watch literally grow, literally blossom. And having this inspiration in a more physical, real-world way uh, really kind of sparked something that has kind of jolted me into action in other areas. Just very, very inspiring to step out behind the screen and really try to make a difference in some of the most vulnerable yet amazing community members.
YouTubers that we've got uh, here in Houston and everywhere. Um, just so many phenomenal things came together at TEDx Houston, and I'm just really so genuinely excited and honored to have been a part of it. So TEDx Houston, 